Black Hole of the Rockies. I don't know how many of you have ever hiked over Woolly Shoulder and had a look the other side. It's about the coolest place I've ever been in the Rockies. Although, <laughs> not going anywhere near this thing. Um, <laughs> this photo is actually thanks to Marco Prejol because I didn't have one that exactly goes with this story. Um, the first time the north face of the North Twin was climbed, it was in 1974 by Chris Jones and George Lowe. And they came up here from the US and they were skulking around, as they said. And they climbed the thing, it took them six days. And this is what Chris Jones had to say about it. George and I had been skulking about the Rockies for some years with the idea to, to climb the most challenging routes. After we'd done those, regrettably, the North Twin was next on the list. If there had been an intermediate climb, somewhat harder than Alberta, then we would have done that, but there wasn't. And then um, Marco Prejol um, and Steve House are the third team to climb that wall. The, they did that a couple of years ago, and um, Barry Blanchard and Dave Cheeseman did it in 1985. So those are the six men that have gotten up the north face of the North Twin. But Marco, um, his... He did a presentation at the Banff Mountain Film Festival, and it was all about style, so I had to ask him what style meant to him in climbing. And this photo is also Marco sent to me. Just doing things that's empty or plain. Without style, it's like eating something that has no taste, eating just to fill your stomach. The style gives the taste to what you're doing. And then the next... <laughs> Sonny Trotter has style. And I put this one in on purpose because it uh, ties in with uh, the little debate that Wade's got planned for um, intermission tonight. Sonny put up a route. Um, this is Corey Richards' photo. And Sonny put up this route, the back of Lake Louise. A little bit of controversy, some bolts were chopped. Sonny wanted to do it in his style, and this is how he explained it. Why does everything have to be easier for everyone? Should you pave the trail to the back of the lake just to make it easier? The challenge is the same for me as for anyone else. Chopping the bolts just changes the style. For me, style is everything. I felt I was able to climb the route in a style I felt good about. I like the way the rock dictates the way you climb it, rather than by the bolts someone placed. Maybe my actions will influence the next generation in a positive way. You guys can discuss that later. <laughs> um, here's a couple of girls who did things in their style. And Karen's style, that's Karen McNeil on the left, and she's famous for fun fur and glitter on her face. But also, um, I did this interview in 2004. Karen and Sue Knott were the first girls-only team to climb the Cassine Ridge on McKinley, and that's where this photo comes from. And um, I interviewed her about that trip and talked to her about Alaska. And this interview, of course, was done two years before they were, the two of them went back to Alaska to climb the infinite spur on Foraker. And um, although by all evidence they made it to the top of the route, they didn't come home. So this is what Karen said about Alaska. Alaska is incredibly beautiful. I could sit there every day and look at the scenery and not get sick of it. And last but not least, this is uh, a couple of years ago, Ben Firth and Will Gadd went out to, this is off the northern coast of Labrador. And this photo is, uh, Andrew Kerner took this one. So they went to climb these icebergs. And, well, it sounded like a pretty unique experience. So when I did the interview, actually, I interviewed Ben and not Will, which was, was nice. It was fun. I interview Will a lot. So <laughs> this is what Ben had to say. The big ones take the swells, small ones definitely move around a lot. The boat is bobbing five feet at a time and you got to time it just perfect to swing in. It was like being on a big eggshell. You'd throw your tool in there and hear this blood curdling crack, like taking an ice cube and throwing warm water on it. Then you have to down climb what you just climbed up. The cracks aren't as loud when you go down, only then you have to get into that damn bobbing boat. That's it. Thanks to all the photographers who gave me photos from there. There's 60 different photos in my book, so it's just a small sampling, and everybody helped me put it together. Thanks. Do I give your book away? Do I give your book away?
Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that. So this is uh, Lynn's book, and, and uh, how do you want to give it away? I don't know. Should we just, uh, oh shit, how are we going to give it away? Wait better ever. <laughs> no, we're going to wait and throw Chick's book. Yeah. <laughs> um, Much heavier. Yeah. Uh, you, want, you, got, you got a question out of it that you yeah. want to ask and see if somebody knows? Um, see if they were paying attention. Who did the second ascent of the North Face of the North Twin? Who said that first? No, Barry is the answer. Who was he with? Who was he with? Cheeseman's the right answer. I hope he can read. Thanks a lot, Lynn. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have uh, Mr. Larry Stanier. <laughs> 